Well, it, 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 a Labo is, you know. So Alex Pfeffer made 100,000 US dollars in one year with his music products alone. And now he wants to show us exactly how we can do it too. I went through his new audio entrepreneur challenge to share my experiences with you. On a serious note, unfortunately, it's not super easy to make a steady income with writing music and a lot of composers struggle with it. They're skilled and write awesome music, but they often rely on hoping for TV or trailer placements and cold call publishers, video game devs or film directors for project opportunities. In reality, things get tough when we have to land gigs, when there's financial pressure of having to pay our bills, especially in these weird times. This pressure affects the mental health. People think about giving up and it sucks. In order to battle this, the Audio Entrepreneur Challenge wants to teach us how we can build any sort of product that makes money come to us, so we don't have to try so hard to find it. That's great and all, but when taking the Audio Entrepreneur Challenge, I learned that it's not really about the money itself, nor about a quick cash grab. It's about freedom and comfort, about putting ourselves in a situation where we can decide if we want to pick up a music project or not. It's like a side job, just cooler, <laughs> because we're our own boss and we're on our products. The videos of the course are organized into 11 days and a bonus section with a total runtime of about 5 hours. It starts with the mindset we should have and how we can utilize and monetize our personal unique skills. To all of you who are new to this channel, and that's about 75% of you, welcome. Make sure to click the subscribe button below the video if you like the content. It lets me reach more people with my helpful composer videos and helps you make the most of your composer journey. So in the mindset part of the Audio Entrepreneur Challenge, we're introduced to four fictional characters. Like Lisa, who's a session singer that lost a lot of gigs due to COVID, but has a small home studio to record her voice. Or Joe, who is an orchestral composer that excels at teaching complex arrangements in simple words. With these examples, Alex helps us to think about what we're good at, where we excel, and how we can turn this strength into a product. We then learn about branding, how people recognize us and build trust in what we do. We tune our social media presence to make it easy for people to find us without spamming them and without getting banned from composer groups on Facebook because we keep promoting our stuff. We've all been there. The videos are a good mix of brain work and hands-on fun. Alex encourages us to think about our own sales strategy and teaches how to build funnels that convert a brand new visitor to a potential customer, how to set up automated email campaigns and how to segment them so you only target those users who've shown interest in your product. Alex gives concrete recommendations for effective and easy to use services that he uses himself, like course platforms, email marketing services, online store builders, and tools to create artworks, social media posts, or YouTube thumbnails. For each of them, there's a hands-on video that shows the basics of how to use them for our music product. We live in a time where the online marketing world can be pretty toxic, full of false promises and scams. Alex Pfeffer's The Audio Entrepreneur Challenge is none of these. There are no magic shortcuts here and the course doesn't promise any. Instead, it gives us a very clear, very applicable guideline on how we can turn skills that we already have into a finished product that sells. But it goes further. We also learn how to create content on social media and multiply it for platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. This is a very important process because lots of people are always overwhelmed on what to post to all of these platforms. The goal is to maximize our brand awareness without being salesman-like. And Alex gives great examples on how to achieve this with the 30 days of social content sheet. The course gives a good overview on what works in marketing and how to apply it. A big plus is that it's tailored to us composers and musicians. This fact makes it super relatable and also inspiring. The strategies we learn align with what I learned in my day job in a different industry, as well as with my own research. I'm currently building something awesome. Stay tuned. I can confirm that the advice given in the course is valid and up to date. Alex has a high quality video setup and the course is easy to watch. He teaches basic product and marketing concepts clearly while sparing us with excessive marketing jargon. There are downloadable PDF files for each day of the challenge that summarize the content in bullet points, which is great for a quick revision. And there's a helpful chapter on mental health as well. Super important. So who's the Audio Entrepreneur Challenge for? I think the course is ideal for composers who want to improve their income streams and are open to alternatives to the traditional approach of I write music and sell my rendered WAV files to the publisher. Here's an important takeaway. This alternative does not compete with the traditional composer approach at all. They go hand in hand. You can set up a product like a small sample library, a MIDI pack, an online shop that sells guitar loop effects, or a small course on the side. The revenue then takes away some of the financial pressure from your actual composing work, and you can focus on the projects that you enjoy doing. But it also works the other way around. Your reputation as a composer can increase the 
trust of your brand that leads to more sales. If Mark Petrie, for example, made a course on why his trailer music makes mine sound like a thin fart in the wind, hell, I would watch it. What I want to say is that in any case, it's valuable that you know how to market yourself. No matter if you want to become a businessman and start a company or prefer the traditional composer work, it's not a bad thing. I'm pretty sure Hans Zimmer knows how to sell his composer services. Well, it, 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 a lab hour is, you know. Sometimes that business knowledge is exactly what a composer needs to become successful. Coming at 99 US dollars, Alex Pfeffer's Audio Entrepreneur Challenge is an affordable career Kickstarter that takes you by the hand and brings you many steps closer to a sustainable music income. There's a seven day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied, so there's no risk signing up. The link to the Audio Entrepreneur Challenge is in the description below. In my opinion, it's one of the best investments you can make into yourself as a composer who wants to make money. I wish it would have existed when I did all of this research on my own. Thank you for watching this overview. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon.